everybody this is old soldier i'm up in the mountains camping uh this video is going to be chiefly my review of the seek outside six man tent but uh it's probably gonna get done mostly tomorrow because i got out here a lot later than what i thought i'm losing daylight fast and it was all i could do to get camp set up and it's probably gonna be dark here in about 45 minutes uh it's chilly it's a little bit breezy uh, it's a little bit drier than I like, and I probably am not going to run the stove in the tent tonight because uh, I don't want to start the woods on fire. I know you can see snow in the background, but there's a lot of wind out here. Uh, it, some of these parts are drier than I'd like them to be, and I wish I could run the stove. But anyway, cold camp tonight. Um, tomorrow we're going to talk more about uh, this tent, and this is a great tent. I've had this five or six years. I chiefly use it during elk season. Uh, great tent, great product. Seek outside this six man tent. If it has a stove in it, it'll sleep four comfortably. And uh, I don't have a cot tonight, but I have used cots in the past. And you can comfortably put two cots in it. And uh, although it's a little breezier than I like, um, it is absolutely gorgeous spot. So I've got camp set up, got the sleeping bag, got a few amenities, and uh, it's really, I'm looking forward to pretty comfortable, although probably a little bit chillier than what I had anticipated, light night. So it is down over the horizon, so it's going to be getting dark pretty soon. So it's uh, going to be time to cook up some grub. You guys have already seen me cook up grub, so we'll probably skip that this evening. Well, I have a hot tent, but I'm cold camping. Uh, such is life. But uh, this is the uh, setup for the night. It'll be fine. Uh, a little bit chillier than what I expected and tomorrow when the sun comes up we got some time warms up a little bit we'll go over the tent but uh, it is a little bit disappointing uh, it is nice to be being able to stand up in a tent when you're as decrepit as I am and uh, it's nice to be able to stand up and be nicer still had I been able to uh, scrape out some of the flammable stuff and have the stove in here and lit, but such is life. Anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. Good morning. Very scenic out here this morning. Very beautiful. But it is time to make some coffee. Just uh, brewed up a little mocha, but as uh, part of my Nutrition breakfast. I'm having the apple chips, or one of the packages of apple chips that I made uh, in some of my episodes last fall. Those were made last September. They are really good. Sorry for the crunching, but they are really good. Today is a new day, so got some sleep, uh, cooked up some grub last night, got some sleep, got up, had my coffee, so I guess on with the review of the tent. So this is the Seek Outside six man tent. Um, it is a hot tent, comes with a stove, but it looked a little dry out here, so I didn't use it. I guess that's gonna have to be a follow up. Uh, episode uh, one thing I absolutely love about this whole tent I have the titanium stove the tent everything uh, the tent pole everything with the aluminum tent pole goes right around eight pounds so if you do want to pack it in it's 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 very doable I've had this since 2015 I apparently bought it for elk hunting uh, 
and it, it worked great. And I hunt late season, late November, and uh, if it wasn't for the hot tent and the stove, I wouldn't even consider doing it because it gets cold. Now, last night it got below freezing, it was probably in his 20s. I checked my vehicle, it said 28, and that was when the sun was up for a while, so it was probably between 20 and 30, probably low 20s. But, uh, you know, other times in November, it gets uh, single digits and below, below zero. And with that stove, makes it very doable. So, uh, you know, one thing I will say, uh, I've done, I think, four or five elk seasons with this. And uh, bought it in 2015. It was marked on it. It was yours manufactured. And... Uh, really well made well thought out product so as part of that good quality zippers you can see inside there's plenty of room now this is a six band tent they say four with the stove so obviously if you have one it's super roomy Yes, I did bring a camping chair with me last night and did use it. Um, excellent product. They do make one thing uh, I will say. They do make a uh, carbon fiber pole. This is the aluminum pole. I think there's about seven, eight ounces difference. And as of yet, I have not went to the carbon fiber. I don't know if I will because uh, the aluminum pole pole has served me fine uh, I put this up together last night by myself in pretty gusty winds uh, once you've done it a time or two and easy to do I uh, tap in a couple of the stakes I put in the pole uh, wreck the pole put some tension on it and uh, push in some more stakes and then stake it out the rest of it or stake out the rest of the stakes stake it in worked fine and another thing I will say this thing stands up to rain, wind, and snow excellently. Now, if you do have snow, this thing is not a cabin. So don't leave it in heavy snow. But if you're inside, you can knock it off, or the wind blows it off. Um, don't, they tell you the manufacturers, that's been my experience. Um, if it is snowing heavy, you need to be around to knock the snow off. But it does do an amazing job of handing out the elements. Silicon stove jack, don't have the stove up right now, but uh, stove pipe goes through there, that stood up just fine. It's got a little ventilation cut out, that's worked fine. Uh, the nylon itself, I think it's, I'm gonna mess this up, but I think it's super silis, no, that's not right. I, I forget the name, but uh, nylon, it's very similar to what is used into uh, parachutes. Stitching and quality materials, and with this, I'll add another one. It is quality of design. So I won't kid you, this thing is spendy. I spent a good bit of change for it and saved up. Had a little windfall at the time. And that's when I got it. But uh, highly recommend the uh, Seek Outside uh, six man. Oh, that's the only product they have. But they make a four man, they make an eight man. They make a larger project. They're a Colorado based company. They're in Grand Junction. One thing I will say, I got the large stove. Uh, I shouldn't talk about it unless I have it up, but I'm going to anyway. If the, the firebox on the stove or the stove itself, I got the large, not big enough. Um, it does okay. Get the extra large, take it from me. It really makes a difference. Uh, it, what I have is usable. At some point, maybe I'll upgrade, uh, but for now, that's what I have. So if you so if you're in the market for a hot tent i highly recommend the seek outside uh check them out and whoever camped out here at least one of the party whoever camped out here last fall during elk season it looks like they're scored or it looks like they scored um that is a portion of an, an elk hide this is my sleeping bag it's a moonstone bag unfortunately i don't believe they are no longer in business they're a california based company i've had this since the 80s since i was a young soldier uh, I'm now an old soldier, old former soldier actually. Uh, Windstone's bags are excellent. 
Uh, by today's standard, probably a little heavy at the time. It was great. This thing is rated, I believe, down to 20 below. I have used this numerous, numerous times. I carried this in the military, all kinds of winter environments, and keeps me toasty warm and packs up pretty tight. I, I don't have it any longer. Um, like I said, Moonstone is out of business. Uh, I, at one point, I was issued a Wiggy sleeping bag. Also, highly recommend them. Uh, I think the one that I had was rated down to 40 below. And it was lighter than this and packed up even smaller. So if you can't find a Moonstone, if you can't find a Moonstone, I don't know if uh, there's much of a market for you sleeping bags. But, uh, you know, I highly recommend them. But uh, Wiggies is still in business once again, another Colorado company, and they make an excellent product. All right, folks, there you have it. A little tent review, a little camping action, a little... Uh, sleeping bag review uh please let me know your thoughts in the comments if you like this type of content please uh go ahead hit the subscribe button hope you everybody's fine out there uh thanks for watching this is old soldier out